there, Rider Flex Nation. Steve Urban here with more career advice and job interviewing tips for you. And as a quick reminder, if you enjoy our podcast, please remember to subscribe to our channel and like the episodes. Today, I want to talk to you about work life balance. Oh, I need that work life balance, right? We all need that work life balance, don't we? We all want that work life balance deep down. But here's the deal, folks. I recommend you stay away from that during a job interview. I recommend you just don't include that in your speech, especially when they say, hey, Johnny, why why'd you leave that other job? And you say, well, you know, I just looking for a company where I can have more work life balance <laughs> because deep down you want the work life balance. Right. So you make the mistake of actually sharing that with the person interviewing you. Here's the deal. Even if the company you're interviewing with has good work-life balance and a great culture and a great atmosphere and they take care of their employees, let's just assume for a minute the company you're interviewing with has all that, I still wouldn't bring it up in the interview. I wouldn't bring that up as one of your requirements. Here's why. And take this from an old guy who's been interviewing people for 30 years, okay? As soon as somebody says that, I look at them and go, oh, so, okay, so you're a clock watcher, right? You're a nine-to-fiver. You're a, uh, hey, I'm going to do exactly what I'm supposed to do and nothing more. Um, You're not going to stay extra hours when we have an emergency. You're not going to volunteer for extra projects. You're not going to really just kick ass for me. Um, I think I might pass on you. (laughs) That's, That's what's going through my head as the interviewer. You know, it's not it's not because we don't want it right everybody wants work life balance but the reality is for successful companies that have really done well it takes a team of people really just getting after it especially in a startup small early stage company especially in that case they're looking for folks that are going to roll up their sleeves and kick ass okay and do whatever it takes to get the job done and sometimes that means work extra Especially if you're interviewing with a founder or a let's 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 say a CEO that was one of the original co-founders of a company and they've killed themselves the last four or five years to get this company off the ground, and now you're sitting in front of them saying, "Hey, you know, I need work-life balance." <laughs> what they're thinking is, "Oh, you want the cushy forty-hour-a-week job, but you're applying for a management-level position in a leadership role, <laughs> but you want work-life balance." So again, folks. I know we all want it. We all deserve it. We're all looking for it. But I recommend you stay away from it during the job interview. Just don't bring it up. It's going to throw up caution flags with certain recruiters and certain employers when they're interviewing you. Okay? They're going to think about it in their heads. They're going to they're gonna have that little bitty doubt that says, oh, I'm not sure if this person's going to go the extra mile for me when I really need them to. So there's my tip of the day, folks. Stay away from it. We truly hope you find our material helpful and entertaining. And while our podcast can be heard across most platforms, including iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, YouTube, and SoundCloud, you can become a supporter of this podcast by visiting our show on the platform Anchor FM. That's anchor.fm slash riderflex. You can also send us your questions or suggested topics for future episodes to the email address podcast at riderflex.com or drop us a voicemail at 888-964-5876 extension 710. Visit riderflex.com to learn more about us. Thanks so much for listening, folks, and have a great day.